Your development team just hired three new engineers. And within a month, they're spending more time configuring infrastructure and supporting systems than building the products they were hired to deliver. Does this sound familiar? This is happening at companies everywhere. Talented teams are just getting bogged down in operational complexity that has little to do with the features that they need to ship. You hired engineers to solve business problems and deliver value, and yet they're drowning in configs and wrestling with CI and becoming part-time DevOps engineers, maybe full-time. It's as if every chef had to also build their own kitchen and do the oven maintenance and also figure out their supply chain. While DevOps promised to break down silos between development operations, and it did, it often moved a lot of operational complexity on the teams that were already stretched thin. Platform engineering is an evolution of DevOps. It creates a layer that lets everyone focus on what they do best. In this video, we'll explore what platform engineering actually is and why it's essential for scaling past a certain size. Traditional DevOps says you build it, you run it, but we can only be great at so many things. Platform engineering says, we'll build the roads and then you drive the cars. We create standardization and self-service paths that remove operational complexity. Instead of every team reinventing deployment pipelines and infrastructure setup and monitoring, with platform teams, you create reusable and opinionated solutions. Platform engineers take all these scattered tools and technologies, the, the CI, the cloud infra, the monitoring, the security, and they bundle it into an internal developer platform, an IDP. This isn't about restricting choice. This is about providing excellent defaults with escape hatches. Developers get self-service access to pre-configured, secure and compliant infrastructure. They can spin up environments, they can deploy applications, they can access resources without waiting on tickets or learning new tools. Meanwhile, platform teams ensure that there's consistent security and that there's best practices baked into the defaults of the platform. That means that development teams get faster feature delivery, less cognitive overhead, and more time spent on application development instead of YAML files. Operation teams get fewer interruptions and standardized systems that are easier to maintain, and they'll have time to focus on strategic initiatives instead of tickets and firefighting. This means that businesses enjoy reduced time to market and they have improved developer satisfaction and the infrastructure continues scaling as your teams grow. Platform engineering isn't about replacing DevOps. It's about evolving it. It's the next step. Start small. Identify the biggest pain points that your organization faces. Maybe it's environment provisioning. Maybe it's CI. Maybe it's monitoring. Build solutions for those specific problems. Tackle one. Get feedback. Remove friction. The goal isn't to build a perfect platform on day one. It's to gradually reduce the operational burden and the cognitive overhead and the friction on your teams. Remember, a great platform is one developers actually want to use. So focusing on the right use case is paramount. At its core, platform engineering is about removing friction from software delivery so your teams can move faster and safer with greater focus and less distractions. If you want to dive deeper into how platform engineering compares to our traditional DevOps approach, check out this detailed video right here. Uh, it should pop up here if I'm doing this right. Yeah, and check out Pulumi as well. Thank you.